Language Amigos, soy Gabriela from Word Across and today we're going to continue with the started program with the 11th day, all right? So let's talk about routines and simple present or presente simple in Spanish. So we use it to describe people or things. Tú vives en Colombia or talk about routines or habits. For example, ella baila salsa. Okay? We have this conjugation um, of the regular verbs or verbos regulares. So we have to keep the root and replace the endings with this. So we have to share with our pronouns yo, tú, él, ella. And the endings with the verb in Spanish are er, and ir. So, this example. We have the verb to work, trabajar. Yo trabajo. This verb ends with ar. So, if I want to say you work, tú trabajas. Él, ella trabaja. Leer, to read. Yo leo, tú lees, él, ella lee. Vivir, to live. Yo vivo, tú vives, él, ella vive. All right? This is the regular verbs. And now we have irregular verbs because this is different. We These don't follow the rules like the are, er, and ear. Okay? Uh, that means not gonna end with o o es because it's irregular. So we have verb decir. Yo digo, tener, yo tengo, venir, yo vengo, o hacer, yo hago. For example, yo tengo mm, an apple. Yo tengo una manzana. I have an apple. Okay? Uh, we have the verb ser. Yo soy, estar, yo estoy, saber, yo sé. And ir, yo voy. So, let's practice. Practiquemos un poco. So, we have to uh, complete the sentence. So, yo, we have the verb jugar. Fútbol los domingos, to play, it's jugar. So, jugar ends with ar. So, I'm going to say, yo juego fútbol los domingos. The verb dormir, this ends with ir. Yo duermo a las 11 pm o a las 11 de la noche. Yo tener, this is the verb to have. Yo tengo 22 años. In Spanish, we used to say to have for the years. For example, I have 22 years old. And in Spanish, it's like to have. So, yo tengo 22 años, all right? Um, ser, it's a irregular verb. So, yo soy estadounidense or yo soy colombiana o venezolana. Ir, it's a irregular verb, un verbo irregular. Yo voy al supermercado los viernes, all right? Now we're gonna see reflexive verbs. So, we use them, verbos reflexivos in Spanish, we use them to indicate who is affected by an action. Yo me levanto a las 7 de la mañana. Or, talk about actions that are reflex um, on the same subject. For example, yo me baño después de hacer yoga. So, we have the conjugations. Reflexive verb will have the infinitive forms ar, er, ir. That means these verbs are not conjugated. Um, and the ending se. Entonces, are not conjugated because ends with ar, er, and ir. So, we have the pronoun, the reflexive pronoun, and the verb. Yo me levanto, tú te levantas, él, 
ella se levanta. So, we have the verb levantar. And we're gonna add the ending C. Levantarse. Okay? So, this change of meaning. Some verbs can change their meaning when uses a reflexive. For example, yo levanto, I lift. Pero yo me levanto, it's like I get up. I get up to, I don't know, to my bed, for example. Okay? And now we have verbos reflexivos, some verbos reflexivos. Levantarse, despertarse, bañarse, acostarse o vestirse, like get dressed. Okay, and now we have some exercise, some examples, sorry. Eh, me visto formal para la fiesta. Me, yo, I dress for the party. Me cepillo los dientes, I brush my teeth. Me cepillo los dientes. If I want to say, you brush your teeth, you, eh, tú, te cepillas los dientes. Okay? So let's practice a little bit. Um, add the reflexive pronoun. Tenemos que agregar, completar la oración. Yo, if I'm talking about myself, about me, yo me acuesto a las 10 de la noche. Ella, it's a third person, se despierta a las 10 de la mañana. Él se viste muy raro. O yo, again, me, yo me baño con agua fría. Ok, so we have some reflexive verbs like emotions. Verbos reflexivos, emociones, por ejemplo, emocionarse, molestarse, sentirse bien, sentirse mal, asustarse, like get scared. Um, so, let's practice a little bit. Let's talk about emotions. ¿Cómo te sientes con estas cosas? How are you feeling about these things? Um, con las películas de terror. Me asusto, me emociono, o me siento mal. I will say, me asusto, make me scared. <laughs> let's talk about emotions. Um, with, con los libros de historia. With the books, the history books. Yo me aburro, me siento triste, o me siento curioso. You can say me aburro, because you can get bored eh, with the books, because you don't like read. And, but I will say me siento curioso. I feel, you know, like curious. Okay, and now we have me siento triste cuando... Veo a un bebé llorar, I see a baby crying. Veo películas tristes, o no como chocolate. I don't like the chocolate, so I don't have problem here. <laughs> That don't make me feel sad. Um, I will say, veo películas tristes. I watch sad movies. Okay, so that's all for today, guys. I hope you like it. Buen trabajo, you did a good job, um, you can let your comments uh, down below, and if you want to say some homework a little bit, you can click below the, the homework. So, goodbye, I hope to see you really, really soon. Bye!